Hi everyone, it's Donna from Spaceman Paper Crafts and I am back finally with another design team um, video for Gareth at gsembellishmentemporium.com um, Gareth had asked me to do a variation of um, a card that I made a while ago um, it's a baby dresser card and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put a photo, if I can find one, I'm going to put a photo in now so you can see what the first one looked like. And this is going to be a different variation of that using some of the lovely baby buttons that Gareth stocks in his store. Okay, so this is a really, really simple way to do a sidestep card. Um, it involves no measuring as such. Um, you can, however, measure if you want to. And um, what I'll do is, if I show you my prototype, this is the prototype that I made. Okay, and you can't see it there, but here, that is the actual main fold of the card. That, that gets covered up by a mat okay and then we're going to turn this bit into the dresser and make it look really nice so i've just got a card base that i had in my stash um if you wanted to do this one exactly um this is a uk c6 measurement i believe which is six and an eighth by eight and a half so then you just score it down the middle at four and a quarter okay so i'm going to fold over my card base and let me just grab a bone folder a little one and just crease it down okay so then that will be the base of the card and this is where it becomes really really simple now for this one i just guessed that was it i just guessed of the measurement and it worked so it's entirely up to you how big you want these sections to be so the larger you want the left hand side section the further to the right you'll cut okay and obviously vice versa if you want a larger step section so what i'm going to do and i'm just going to measure this so you can see i'm just going to grab a pencil and I'm just going to measure my card base at, what did I do that for? I think it was three, was it three inches? Just over three, three and a quarter inches. So that's what I'll do. I'll measure this one at, um, from the edge at three and a quarter to there. Okay, and then to make life easy, if you want to measure, um, your cut you can where did that cut to so that cut was down to three okay so I'm going to measure another three inches and just make a little mark again you really really don't have to measure you can just guess but if you wanted to make it exactly like mine this is how you would do it okay so then you bring your paper trimmer in and from this mark here that we made down to this mark we're going to cut on our paper trimmer you can use a craft knife you can use scissors um, but I'm just going to use my paper trimmer and I'm going to line that first mark there at, in where my scoring track is so I'm going to cut that down to where that mark is and that's all the cutting we need to make this card okay so now to get your fold you open up your card and you bring in your score tool and you line it up with what you think is going to match up to this line here okay so if you find it more helpful use a ruler and try and line it up to so I've lined my put mine on the five and you make a score line just to that cut section 
okay so we scored there just to the end of that cut section and then what we're going to do is we're going to score in again at do an inch or three quarter we'll do three quarters of an inch so that's the size of the step bit okay you could do an inch you could do whatever size you want you could even do one panel and two steps at the side which again is very easily doable so that is basically the basis of our card so I'm just going to put my scoreboard out of the way because we're done with that now. So then with the card, you need to make this one a mountain fold. So you need to fold it over. And the second score would be a valley. Okay. Then you need to manipulate and match your two edges. This first bit's not going to want to go because that's where the original score was. So we're going to have to press this one down and then use our bone fold out when we've got our card all lined up and give it a good crease down. And there we have our sidestep card. Okay, simple really. Um, this bit is going to be covered by the sentiment. And this section is going to be our dresser portion. So, okay, so to create the bottom of our dresser to make it look like a dresser, I'm going to use a die that I got from G's. Um, sorry, I'm just running through my, got all my things organised. Here we go. Dies from G's. And I'm going to use one of these ones to make the... Um, bottom portion of the dresser okay so I'm gonna pull this out and see which size is going to work best hmm, probably yeah so what we want to do here is line up we don't want to cut the whole thing out and we just want to do it on the front section not on the back so we just want to line it up on the front just so it will give us a decorative edge and look like the bottom of a dresser then I'm going to take that into place take it over to my die cutting machine and just cut that out and I'll be right back okay so I've just cut this out I'm just going to remove the washi crease my car back down again I think that looks really sweet because that makes it look like the bottom of a dresser okay so that's using this die um it's a stitch die which is really nice it stitches out the outer pattern it doesn't stitch on the inner but if you're um die cutting one of these out for a sentiment that'd be great so let me just put my dies back I like to keep all my dies and stamps and things I've just reorganized everything so okay so I'll just pop that back okay so this is what we're left with I think it looks great so far so we're going to do the draw portions okay now these pieces measure I'm just get my clipboard here these pieces pieces measure two and a half by three quarters of an inch and these are going to be our draw sections um, for our dresser okay so I'm going to line them up and try and find the middle and then um, if I find the middle then it'll be easier to make the mark so I'm just gonna make a pencil line where I think the centre is going to be and then the last one okay so before I 
put those on I'm going to ink around the edges just to make them stand out a little bit and um, I've had a few people ask me actually how I store my um, ink pads ink bending pads I bought these um, hook and loop dots from Amazon and um, I just use those I stick them to um, the base of the big pads the little pads it's easy because they fit in the little pads really easy um, but for the bigger ones that's how I store mine because I have more bigger ones than I do small so whoops so I'm just going to get some ink this is my vintage photo ink and I'm just going to ink the edges just to give it a bit of contrast to make it stand out a bit if you just don't want everything all to blend in and then we're going to create the um, draw pulls using brads I'm going to need my pokey tool okay and I'm going to make some holes actually I don't think that one looks like it's in the middle never mind so we'll just make some holes in our um, draw pieces okay so I've got my brads in here I've got two different colors um, I've got a lighter and a darker I think I'll go for the lighter blue actually there we go so we're just going to pop these brads in okay so then before we do that I've, I've cut and I've um, stamped a sentiment this is from a stamp set from Lawn Fawn um, just in case you're wondering it's called the plus one and um, the paper is another Lawn Fawn paper pack it's from Watercolour Wishes so this is going to get stuck it's actually a little bit on the wide side so I'm going to trim that down and then um, it'll fit better just trim it down a little bit on each side because obviously I've already put the sentiment on so I need to keep it quite central still so let's see how that fits so again all of this is just going to be trial and error really if you don't whoops if you don't measure okay so I'm just going to get some tape runner and just tape this sorry I've got my windows open and a motorbike's just gone past I hope it wasn't too loud and I'm just going to stick that in there and then that becomes our sentiment piece so now we'll put our drawers on so our drawers will sit like this I think it'll look great so I'm going to how am I going to stick those on let me think I'm going to use some score tape because score tape is really really good and it will cover those brads quite well okay so it's good it keeps as I say keeps those brads down as well so let's take the backing off all of those and then lay our card down and figure out let me zoom you in just a little bit and I'm not going to press down just hard enough just yet until I know that this is where I want them placed and then when I decide that that's exactly where I want them I am going to press them down I think they need to come over to the left slightly Yep, that 
looks good to me. The brads are slightly in a different place, however. But let's that looks better that way. Yeah. Okay, so let's stick them down. That's where I want them to go. And then we're going to finish decorating it with these gorgeous, some of these gorgeous buttons from G's. So I think that little baby is cute. And the bottle, we'll keep to the blue theme. And then I think... I think what I might do is put that there. And maybe something maybe not the bottle or maybe have the bottle yeah I think we'll do it that way actually so pop the bottle back now I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I should put twine through this actually what I've got in here are some tiny little blue brads I wonder if they'd look nice in there Oh, they look really cute. Do you know what? I'm going to do that. That is really cute. Oh, I like little buttons. That's cute. And I'll do the same with the baby one. Trying to find another little, oh, little blue ones. These are Diddy, these um, little brads. You know what with this one I think it's going to look a little bit odd if I put brads in so so I'm going to pop that on the inside I'm going to get some um, I think I'll get some more score tape because this stuff is really good the other thing which I have run out of that you could use that G sells is the um, Colal Tacky Glue that's phenomenal stuff for sticking anything like this down Glue dots are also um, a good thing to use. So let's get that stuck about there. And then I think just put the little baby bit there. Again, I'm just going to use some score tape. I was going to tie some twine through, but um, I'm not going to. You can try if you've got like really thin ribbon, you could do that. But I'm just going to stick that to the end there. Let's just move all our bits and pieces out of the way. Have a look. And there's our sidestep baby boy dresser card. Let me zoom you back out so you can see properly. So I really hope you like it and I really hope you give it a go. I did do a matching envelope as well. I stumped Let's Celebrate there and again that little baby rattle there. So it will um, all fit into the envelopes provided because it was already in my stash. So again, no measurements um, unless you really want to exactly follow mine. You can do them whatever size you choose to just by... Um, making a few simple decisions where you want to cut and score. So don't forget, all the items that I've used from G's, the die and the baby buttons, they're all available from G's Embellishment Emporium.com and I'll leave the link for G's store in the info bar. So do pop along and um, have a look. Phenomenal bargains over there and see what you come up with. Thanks so much again for watching guys and um, take care. Lots of love. Bye for now.